Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time here, then welcome to my channel. And thank you so much for stopping by. Okay, so you guys, today we are doing our part two video in um, my perfume haul series. If you don't know, if you haven't watched the two previous videos, I did a perfume haul slash unboxing video showing you these fragrances that I had picked up on these websites. And then I did um, part one, which was the dupe perfumes and now today's video is going to be part two which is the clone perfumes so if you haven't seen those videos then go ahead and pause this one and go check those two out they're the ones right before this one and then come back to this one or you can check them out later whatever you want to do it's up to you but what i'm going to do is i'm going to be showing you five different perfumes from this company called in style fragrances now these these perfumes are actual clones because they say on the front that it is inspired by and whatever perfume it is um also too i wanted to read the back of this box to you guys i was reading the back of the box and i was just like whoa okay now i haven't smelled any of these i have been sitting out i have my test strips and we are going to smell them together um i know what a couple of them how many well i know what three of them smell like four Four. I know what four of them smells like, so um, I'm familiar with four of them, so I, I will be able to tell you whether or not they smell like, you know, the original perfume. Um, the fifth one I've never smelled. Also, too, with this one, you guys, in my previous video, I told you the notes of the other perfumes. Unfortunately, I went online. I could not find the notes in these perfumes, so I don't really have anything for you to go by except for whether or not I think it smells, you know, reminiscent of the actual perfumes or... You know whether or not I don't so anyway let me just read to you guys really quickly what they wrote on the back of these boxes because I was just like whoa okay they are serious so it says just like many fashion brands are inspired by great designers so are our fragrances designer fragrances are expensive so we created an affordable alternative that we know you'll love and we promise a full money-back guarantee if you are not completely satisfied ballsy claim very big claim. I love it. That means they are confident in their product. And then also, too, at the bottom of each box, whatever perfume it is, it says In Style Products Group competes with, and then whatever perfume it is, it says it does not use that fragrance and it is not associated in any way with that brand, which is a product of and whoever the original designer is. So, yeah. And this company comes out of Shelton, Connecticut. So, this is an American brand. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spray each one and then I'm going to just let you guys know what I think, if I like it, if it's reminiscent of the um, thing that it's supposed to be inspired by or if it's not. And then also too, whether or not I just like it in general, you know, just if it's a good fragrance, pretty much. So with that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and jump into this video and see about these fragrances. All right. So up first, you guys, we have the fragrance inspired by Elizabeth Taylor's White Diamonds. Okay. And as I was telling y'all in a previous video, I am familiar with this because this is a scent that my mom used to wear back in the 80s. So I do, you know, kind of remember what this smells like. Okay. Oof. Okay, it, it smells like it's, this is strong. I didn't even have to bring it up. I think I might have sprayed too much. Yep. Yep. Mmm. It does smell like white diamonds. It's strong too. Jeez. Whoa. Pack a punch. Mm-hmm. It's nice. It, it smells like white diamonds. This is good. Okay. Mm-hmm. It opened up nicely. It didn't come off. I was worried about these, to be honest, which I don't know if the other ones are going to do it, but you know how sometimes um, some of these, let me stop calling these perfumes knockoffs. Some of these mimics or impressions, um, when you spray them, they give a really big blast of alcohol. And also too, because this is a, um, I'm going to tell you guys in the beginning, this is not an eau de parfum. This is a spray cologne, which basically is the same thing as the eau de toilette. And you know, those are higher in alcohol. This is really good. Mm, it smells just like white diamonds and it's strong. Not in a bad way, but in a good way. Like, you know, it's strong. So I feel like it projects. All right, let's move on to the next one. So we, we went for one. 
It's a good one. Let's see what's next. So up next, we have the perfume inspired by Clinique's Happy. And I have previously owned Happy. I actually have Happy. I have Happy and Happy Heart. Um, I'm on my last legs with that. What you call it, though? Okay. This one opens up with the alcohol. This one opens up with the, the alcohol. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah, it's a little weird. Let me let it dry down a little bit. That opened up with the alcohol. I don't know. It sort of smells like it, but it's like I can smell the paper too. It's really weird. Let me see. It's I don't I don't know. It's this is not spot on for me. This is not spot on for me. I might have to um get that money back guarantee going. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's similar, but it's not spot on for me. It's, it's something that's throwing me off. And also, too, it has that alcohol opening. And uh, mm, if I had to give this a percentage, I would say, I'd say about a good 70%. About 70%. That alcohol is, is really what's killing it. And then it's like I can smell the paper, too. I don't I don't know if the alcohol is kind of, interacting with the paper but it's like yeah 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 mm, not so great this one's not so great next so this next one is their impression of donna karan's cashmere mist okay let's see whoa we'll turn it that way Oh, yes. Ooh. This off the bat is a definite yes. This is a definite yes. This is good. Like like the Elizabeth Taylor, this one, no alcohol jumps out at me. Just the, the perfume. And it definitely smells like cashmere. This is nice. Yeah, this is a good one. This is a good one. This smells like cashmere mist. They did good. Ooh, okay. So that's two. Yeah, I like that. Very nice. Very good. Very good. This is good. I like the white diamonds. All right. Up next. Yes, I can just still smell that cashmere mist. That smells so good. This is that. Yeah, that smells really nice. I'm, I'm excited to. Um, is it on my hand? I think it got on my hand a little bit. Oh, my gosh. It's crazy. It smells really good, though. Like, super good. Okay, up next, let me show you. I forgot to show you guys. Now, this one is the one that I've never smelled before, and it is Romance by ralph lauren so let's see i've never smelled romance i've smelled lauren by ralph lauren but not romance so i cannot tell you if it is a dupe but i can tell you what i think of it Ooh, okay first of all it's strong not in a bad way but you know i think i'm over spraying i gotta be careful i guess those don't spray it three times it smells really good oh wow Oh, this smells very nice. Mmm. I don't know if it smells like the original, but I know that this smells really good. Oh, man. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. If this is what romance smells like, then romance smells really good. Mmm. Oh, I like that, you guys. And it's a strong one like the other ones. Yes, so that's a good one too. So far, we only have one, which was happy. We only got one so-so. So we got one left, you guys, so let's see. And last but not least, you guys, I got another. Um, if you watched my previous video, then you know this is my second um, dupe for Terry Mugler's Angel. And the other one that I got in the previous video, which if you haven't seen it, go watch it so you can see. It's a really good video. Um, that one was surprisingly on it, it was very um it was on point basically so hopefully this one is too because angel is like one of my favorite perfumes so let's see okay i'm gonna say 
It smells very good and it smells like Angel, but it does not smell as much like Angel as the dupe perfume. It smells like Angel, but the dupe perfume kind of just, I don't know, it, it was different. It smells very good though. Do not get me wrong. This smells really, really good. It's about a, I'll say a fair 85% dupe. It's, I, I don't I don't think this is a clone because I feel like the dupe was more of a clone than this is. I don't know how to explain it, but the dupe had more of all of the different... I could smell everything inside of that dupe. It was really, really good. But this is good too. Don't get me wrong. But I think I'm a little spoiled on the dupe. But this is really, really good though. It's it's good enough. Like if, if you have an untrained nose, it nobody would be able to tell the difference, but... If I had to choose between this clone or that dupe, I'm picking that dupe. So yeah. Okay. So that is all five of these perfumes, you guys. Um, They all are pretty decent. And for the price point, you can't beat it. These were like no more than 10 bucks. Like they were super cheap. They were super cheap. Um, I'll leave. Um, They have them at Walgreens too. You probably can get them cheaper at Walgreens, I found out. Um, I'll leave a link. I'll try to find them on Walgreens and I'll leave a link. And then also too, I'll leave the link to Amazon where I found them at. And yeah, if you are interested in trying these clones, then go ahead and try them, check them out. Um, I'm going to come with another video somewhere down the line where I test each one of these to see the longevity and the sillage. So I want to see, you know, in the future, I'm going to wear each one, one, one per day and go throughout the whole day and see how long it lasts on me. So We'll see, and I will be reporting back. And thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so much. Please don't forget to hit that like button if you haven't already, and subscribe to your girl if you haven't. And also to share this video if you think somebody else would be interested in watching. And turn those notifications on. And that's it. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye.